Yo, you looking for TV reviews, music reviews, movie reviews? Let's check out the only reviews that matter, man. Yeah, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notifications and stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Walking Dead Episode 5, uh, the Big Scary You review. Ambitious Ace. Dame Diddy. This guy. <laughs> so, yeah. Negan and Father Gabriel. Saviors. Well, first of all, y'all, I just want to proclamate that Ace thinks this episode was booty. I didn't say booty. I said boring. He said booty. Look, listen. B o t y. This was one of those. Why? This was one of those episodes that just dragged on for a little bit too long. Uh, it was actually extended episode too. I don't know if you noticed that. They're so, all like the same time. No, 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 no. This one was like about ten minutes extra. I don't you know, know what? You that, that ten minutes was worth it. I ain't gonna say all that. Look, man, this episode should have focused on Negan and Gabriel. Did it not? And and more so of Rick. Did, and, did, did it not? No, we got too much of Trevor. You know, from GTA. I forget his character name in the show. Simon. Simon. Yeah, I, can't I, call I don't him know Simon. who the hell Trevor is anymore. He's Simon. No, now. he's Trevor. I'm sorry. Nah, he's Simon. No. Anyways, but still, we got too much of the saviors. I really felt like there was a filler part. I know it's trying to like get the whole mole feeling. I know we got the little bit of information in the beginning that there's a so-called mole in Alexandria. I don't know if you caught that. I don't, I don't watch trailers. No, it wasn't the trailer. It was in the beginning when he was talking to, um, what's the guy name of Hilltop? The one who they gave the flashback I, I, before. I know what you're talking yeah. about. But. They were walking and talking. And he was telling him how he got information from Alexandria. So he's wondering about how, who got the information from the saviors. So there's speculation that there may be a mole in Alexandria. So we're like, okay, who could be the mole in Alexandria? That was interesting to me. But other than that, um, focusing on the saviors and them talking about, oh, we don't know where Negan is and all this stuff. And we got to figure out this and that. I thought it was boring. I mean, it was Kind of funny seeing Eugene talk the way he talks. That's always funny to me. Um, the whole thing with Dwight kind of feeling under pressure. It was all right. But the meat of the episode to me was Negan and Gabriel. Um, I felt like they should have focused on that a little bit more. I know they're only teasing Negan's backstory a little bit. I'm interested to know more. I haven't read the comics, so I don't know much of Negan's backstory. Uh, but yeah, other than that... Uh, there's parts with Rick and Daryl that was interesting. Uh, I felt like their fight was a little anticlimactic, though. Felt like, you know, Jesus and Morgan had a better conflict than Rick and Daryl. Well, but, they don't want to piss the fans off by making one look weaker than the other. Yeah, I, I know that, but I don't think it's over. I think they just kind of settled it for that moment. Daryl still looks like he has a vendetta. He's going to finish it. And I agree why. I mean, he he was captured by them. He, he doesn't want to see anybody live. So I can't really blame him. But Rick's right. There's families and innocent people as, yeah. as the saviors. But Daryl's not thinking about that right now. I mean, maybe he'll click later on, but I don't know. But what did you think? Why was it so great to you? I think you totally misunderstood what the episode was about. Okay. What did the I miss? episode was about the saviors mm -hmm. and why they're called the saviors. And it was showing you how Rick and... Negan are technically the same. Like how Democrats and Republicans are technically the same. Both of them think they're doing great by doing things the way they're doing them. Mm -hmm. They're both really shitty, though. Okay. It's like that. You know, Negan is technically saving people's lives. Yeah. He did, like, you see him spaz out when Simon suggests them go and just kill everybody at her place. He's like, no, people are resources. Technically, yeah. Rick is doing the same exact shit. What is it? What did he do when it, uh when uh the fucking governor was a problem? Let's take out the governor. You right? What 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 is Negan Negan suggesting? Let's capture the king, the widow, and Rick. Because if we capture them, he's making a power move. Then everybody else will calm the fuck down because yeah. we took the three leaders. Yeah. What is fucking Rick saying? Let's do. We don't have to kill everybody. He said this in the first episode. We just need Negan. Yeah. They're both doing the same shit. They basically made you sympathetic 
to Negan's plight and to see that he's actually a little bit more regular than you probably think he is. Because all we've seen him do is fucked up shit. Yeah. But he pretty much explained to you why. So is is Rick going to turn into a Negan-like character? No. He's not going to kill Negan. No, I'm not saying that. Will he make an example of somebody? Or will Daryl do that? Will he bat somebody in well, the face? Well, that's the thing, because nobody knows what Daryl's going to do, because his character doesn't exist in the comics. Right. So, right. But Rick, on the other hand, I mean, we pretty much have a good idea of where his character is going to head. And... He's he's gonna talk all this shit and they're gonna get to the point where they capture Negan and he's gonna save his life. Yeah. Because for real, for real, he knows. You know, it's it's like if they kill Negan, they make Negan the martyr and somebody else is just gonna rise up. If they capture Negan, Negan technically still has power. Like that's what they were hoping Gregory could do. Yeah. You know, because Gregory's just a snitch and he just runs to whoever he can run to. Yeah. To, you know. So, what you think about uh, Father Gabriel and all this? I think Father Gabriel seeing Negan is a regular person. Hmm. I can see that because because he started seeing shit was really about to hit the fan without Negan there. Negan came in, said some funny shit, (laughs) and 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 everybody everybody get calm. Everybody calm down. Nobody was asking for anything anymore. He said, without me, te- technically Negan's like the Jesus to his camp. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Not really. I mean, this is why they're called the saviors. But still, we got to remember that this is the same man that beat Glenn and Abraham in he the face. He killed Glenn because of fucking Daryl. We need to go ahead and accept this yes. because it's like we, we can't act like it happened any other way. Yeah. Now, you go back to the beginning when they first met Simon. Simon says, yeah, we'll have to kill one of you, but that's just the way it is. And then after that, we can just go about business. And the reason why they kill somebody is because it's to set an example. And Negan said clearly he didn't want to do this. Well, back to it. So I I get what you're saying. It's kind of like exploring the morality of the actions in this post apocalyptic world exactly they're trying to show you that negan and rick are the same person who is actually more fucked up in this situation that's a good question because they just pulled up to one of their compounds and just killed enough people so that the walkers would take over and kill the rest of the people yeah that's a good that's a good point i mean you think about it that way but i still think it was a boring episode i'm sorry so what did you grade it, man? A, a F? No, I gave it a C plus. It was just a solid episode. I didn't really think there was much to be wild about, but the uh, interactions between Negan and Gabriel, and I just felt like you know the saviors kind of like just in there for the Negan when he showed up at the end. But other than that, uh, the developments between Rick and Daryl, I mean, it was all right. I feel like we're going. To, that's not the end of it though. Um, I'm more interested in where is Rick heading right now, and um, my my gut is telling me he might be trying to see that one weird chick, the the dumpster chicks or whatever. What's her name? I forget her name. The one that double crossed him last season. I don't season. know what her name is. Oh yeah, I don't remember her name, but I feel the like go- he's going to see the girl them. from the Garbage Patch Kids. Yeah, yeah, her. So I feel like she's going to. I don't know what that what's that going to bring out, but uh. I'm starting to feel like you feeling now. We need to see what's going on in Alexandria. Hopefully, that's next. There's only three more episodes for this year. So, hopefully, uh, Michonne and Carl get some screen time this season. <laughs> I'm hoping so. Yeah. I, I, I like this episode, man. I gave it a B plus. Okay. I like it a lot. I felt like it was more character development. It gave you an understanding of Negan. He doesn't just bash people's heads in with Lucille just for the fuck of it. There's actually... A method behind his madness. Yeah. They kill as little people as humanly possible, even though it may seem otherwise. Yeah. You favorite guy, your your Daryl's your favorite guy. He sucks ass because if it wasn't for him, Glenn would still be alive. And Abraham, I mean, hey, I wasn't checking for him to stay alive too much longer anyway. Yeah. So, 
I, I thought it was a good episode and I hope they continue to do episodes like that where it's like a deeper meaning and the reason why the episode was called the big um what is it called the, the big, big scary, scary you is the the big scary unknown and it's just like not knowing what was next and it was just like Negan's really good at figuring shit out that scene where they uh invited the walkers in that was like a crazy ass scene because this one he was just standing there just looking like a G I'm just like man that couldn't be me in that situation I'll be scared as hell like he was just standing there like damn and you see Gabriel here like this and everything but I thought that scene was pretty dope yeah and the the other thing the, the whole thing at the end with Father Gabriel being sick I mean they Negan said that those guts were from thousands of years and you know, people get sick from them, and he, you know, Gabriel said, "Well, I'm from Atlanta, or I'm from Georgia. Georgia," and they proceeded to put the guts on. But as you can see, he still got sick. Yeah. So you think that's going to be a big thing to affect people around him? Is it going to be like season three? Was it season three or four when everybody got sick? It was around the prison time, right? Yeah, it was in the prison. I, yeah. I don't know what season it was, but. I highly doubt they re- revisit that just because they knew how hard it was taken last time. People did not like that. So mm-hmm. I highly doubt they'll take that role. I think Father Gabriel gets sick. You the think doctor, he's on his way out? What, of the, of the show? Yeah. I feel like he might be somewhat of a bridge to try to bring Negan and Rick to the same table. But you have people like Daryl, Morgan, and Tara who are not going to be with that shit. And they're going to continue to fight. And yeah. So that that's my prediction. Okay. I think he's gonna die, cause he got the big old flashback scene in the beginning. He's talking about all his confessions and his sins. It seems like the 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 formula for somebody about to die. Oh, if he does die, I'm not gonna shed a tear or anything. No, don't care. Yeah, I like him, but don't care. I don't like him. He's always been in the way, but I do like what he brought out of Negan. He was good to bring that side out of Negan, so that was cool. I was so glad Negan punched him in the face when he <laughs> opened the door. He deserved that for yeah. running the bathroom like that. That's what the fuck you get. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah, um, let us know what you thought about the episode. Uh, if you disagree with me, go ahead. But, uh, yeah, like, share, comment, and uh, stay tuned for next week. Yeah, man. All right. Peace. Peace.